All right, guys, this is going to be an in-depth video of how the Luna flies compared to the Roach as the average Joe throws it. One step at a time, one punch at a time, one round at a time. Hello, everybody. My name is Patrick. I'm going to go over Paul McBeth's new prototype putter, the Luna. We're going to see how it flies for an average Joe like myself. We are going to compare it to what I'm putting with this summer, and that's going to be the Roach. We're going to drive, putt, and approach with both of these discs and compare the two. But before we continue, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I upload my next video. If you like what I'm doing here, hit that like button and comment down below what putter you're using right now and why. Okay, the Luna is Paul McBeth's contribution to a long lineup of Discraft putters. The flight numbers being a speed of 3, a glide of 3, and a turn of 0, along with a fade of 3, this makes it a Discraft stability of 1.0. Meaning, for the average person, when you throw it straight, it should fly straight and have a soft and medium finish to the left as it starts losing power. The Luna comes in a special Jawbreaker rubber blend, which gives you a firm feel, but yet a tacky grip. This allows you to have confidence that the putter will not slip out of your hand as you're getting ready to putt or throw. Okay, next up, I'm going to drive the Luna. The process behind this is, I'm going to take four drives, I'm going to measure them, and then I'm going to average the distance. For the Luna, I got an average distance of 302 feet. Next, I repeated the same process with the Roach. I drove four times, measured them, and then I got an average of about 268 feet. This tells me that the Luna has more glide than the Roach, and I can put a little bit more power on it and get more distance. Next up, let's see how the Luna flies on the hyzer. Here, I'm going to release it on the hyzer angle. I release it a little outside of my body, but it rises up, it holds the angle all the way towards the basket and finishes smoothly on the ground. Now, I'm going to throw the roach as a hyzer. I let this out a little early, but it flips up the straight, flies straight, and finishes level with the ground with a nice soft landing. Now let's look at the Anheuser angle on the Luna. As I release here, I put a little extra power on it which turns the putter over just a little bit more and puts it on the angle so it decides it wants to cut roll as soon as it makes impact to the ground. Next up, we're going to throw the roach on an Anheuser. And here, I kind of do the same thing. I want to make sure it annies, so I put a little extra power on it. It flies relatively straight on that angle. Again, hits the ground on, on an angle and decides to cut roll. Okay, now that I've driven with the discs, let's see how they work as approach. Here with the Luna, I'm about 100 feet or as close to it as I can get. I'm just trying to lay up within about 5 feet of the basket. Because I'm not used to the Luna, it just took me several tries, and this one that you see right now is about the best one. Otherwise, I was overthrowing the basket about 10 to 20 feet. Okay, next up, I'm going to approach with the Roach. I'm again 100 feet away. I'm just trying to put it about 5 feet underneath the basket. But because I'm more comfortable with the roach, you're going to see that I put it right underneath the basket. And if you pay attention, you can see that both discs fly differently. Now I'm going to putt with both the Luna and the roach at 10 and 15 feet. Where I'm aiming right now on the basket is dead center between the cage and the top of the chains. I want to make sure that both discs hit the pole and fall in. If you pay close enough attention, you can see that the Luna's coming out a little wobbly. I'm not used to putting with it, so it felt kind of awkward. Versus a Roach, what I am used to putting with comes out nice and smooth. In this shot here, I've gotten used to the Luna. It goes in nice and straight, and my Roach follows the same path and lands in perfectly. Alright guys, now my thoughts about the Luna after all this testing. I like it. It's going to go into my bag. But it's going to go into my bag as an approach and driving putter. I like how stiff it is. I like how the fact that I can really grip it and put some power on it and drive. And it responds well to the finesse I use for my approaches. The only issue I have with it is my putting. And this isn't necessarily a design flaw because of the Luna. 
It's more or less that I'm not used to it. While doing this video, this was the first time I got to throw it and putt with it, it took me several tries from 10 feet away to put the Luna in the basket. This is because, again, I'm not used to the feel of it. Whereas my Roach, it's more comfortable and I've made putts from longer with it, so I'm able to trust that putter and my movement with that putter, unlike the Luna at this time. But as the season goes on, the Luna might make it into my bag as a putting putter for me because I plan on uh, substituting it in with some of my roaches for when I do practice my putts. All right, guys, that's my review of the Luna. Remember, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell as well so that way you know when I upload my next video. And if you like what I'm doing here, please hit that like button. Also, don't forget to comment down below what your current putter is and why. And if you have any discraft discs that you want to see an average Joe throw, please leave the suggestion down below in the comments and let me know. Remember, one throw at a time, one round at a time. Thank you.